years in prison when she's sentenced next month. A former CPS caseworker takes the stand today in the double murder trial of Christopher Payne. He is the Tucson man accused of starving, beating and killing his children. Today, prosecutors had issues with the former CPS employee, and it all has to do with an Internet blog or comments. Let's get to News 4's David Marino live in the newsroom for the latest on this. David. Christy, it was this blog on the Tucson Citizen website that caught the attention of prosecutors in the Christopher Payne trial. Now, people are allowed to post comments on this site, but some of those comments were allegedly posted by a witness in the case. There is an exclusionary rule where witnesses come in to testify. They are not supposed to talk about uh, what they said, but unfortunately, uh, some cases they go out and they put out blogs. Dr. Tom Baggett is a local jury consultant not affiliated with the Christopher Payne case. He says juror and witness blogging or posting comments online has become a problem for courts across the country. A few years ago in New Hampshire, it became an issue when a jury foreman posted entries about court duty on his blog. Many judges nationwide now, part of their admonition is to tell jurors they are not to use the internet in any way during the course of a trial. Concerns have been raised in the Christopher Payne case after prosecutors say a former CPS worker released confidential information in a blog on the Tucson Citizen website. That issue was briefly addressed in court today. Cindy Groutman used to be Jamie Hallam's CPS caseworker. Hallam is Tyler and Ariana Payne's mother. Groutman testified in the case. Some of Groutman's alleged comments on the Tucson Citizen blog include, quote, the saddest part is that Jamie Hallam is responsible just as much as Christopher Payne. She was using meth. Those children would be alive if she hadn't chosen to get high. Jury consultants say online blogging or commenting can jeopardize a case. The danger is somebody not getting a fair trial. Both sides need fairness, both the prosecution and the defense. And closing arguments in the Christopher Payne trial will start Monday morning. For now, reporting live in the newsroom, David Marino, News 4. An elder